Somewhere in a former industrial city lays this huge abandoned textile mill. With its historical machinery and spacious halls, this one was one of the best examples of the fallen Belgium textile industry. Join us and discover the hidden past of this once grand factory. Before we could head inside, we had to take this rather sketchy part over this big drop. Pak jij mijn tas aan? Ja? Oké, okay. oh het valt mee. Het valt eigenlijk best wel mee. After we survived this, we ventured on walking in the gutter of this decaying roof. Dit is heel uh, Dit is echt ghetto. Zo. Alsjeblieft niet breken. Oh. Luckily, further on, it got a lot easier. So we could search relatively comfortable for an entrance. Wie weet daar al, kan je het misschien in via een raam of zo. We were guessing that we had the biggest chance at the old warehouse building. So we headed to that part. We were right. So we finally could start exploring. In this part we already found some old artifacts of the former textile production. But okay, the next part we were heading to was the top of this warehouse. Here we found it something weird though. Is this for it? This part was locked and looked really active, which is weird considering the current state of this place. So we thought it was better to head down into the big production halls. Here we were greeted by these long, big halls. In the past, these halls were packed of all kinds of textile spinning machines. This kind of production was very common here in this area. It even was one of the biggest textile production areas in all over the world. This one we are right now dates back to the end of the 1800s and was the second largest facility in this town. For over 100 years, this factory provided around 200 jobs. The customers which got their textile was also the more upper class. For example, multiple rich British castles and luxury hotels got their high quality upholstery from this factory. Unfortunately, after 60 years, the European textile production began to slowly move to other countries with lower wages. From this moment, the production was slowly decreasing. With this, there also was less and less money for further improvements in the equipment. At the beginning of the 2000s, this whole facility had just over 20 employees and was full of outdated equipments, which were in some cases even 100 years old. This factory was the last of its kind, still operating in this area. Unfortunately, this didn't last for long. After two years of the 100 years this plant was operating, it was closed for good. Now after 10 years of silence, these big halls are mostly empty. Except for this lonely textile press. This old press dated to the beginning of the 1900s and was probably the oldest equipment in all of this facility. After walking further through the mostly empty halls, we decided to conclude our explore with a visit to the old administration building. This really didn't disappoint. 
All of the old papers and offices were still very intact and consisted all kinds of remnants of better times. So, uh, what we also came across were the textile sample rags, which were completely intact and still stocked. With this cool part, we will conclude our explore at this old textile mill. With the Belgium textile industry on its last legs, places like these are becoming more rare to find. What the fate will be of this mill is unknown. Only time will tell.